Hello, today we're going to be going over our customizing sidebars with the widget context plugin. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials that give you the keys to web presence, put you in the fast lane to success. Uh, there's plenty more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. If at any time you want to skip ahead, there's a table of contents below and you can do that. Alright, so we'll get started. First thing you're going to do is um, install the plugin. As we do that, the reason why you want to do this is sometimes it's a little bit easier than using the custom custom sidebars plugin where you have to sign a sidebar for every single page and create a whole bunch of different uh, widget columns. So this will make it so that you can just assign it specifically to a page. So if you used custom sidebars before, uh, this is that works great. But this is just, a, I, in my opinion, a little bit easier to to work with. Right, so you're gonna go to widget context. Okay, install. So all I did was search widget context. I also put the download link in the description for the video. All right, so that's all installed and ready to go. Now you're going to go to a wid widgets, and I'll show you what is now there. So th when you open up any um, any any one of your uh, widget items, it'll get this drop down here, and that makes it so that um, it adds all these options for which page you want that actual widget to show up on. So let's say, so on my About Us page, this is a sidebar that's on every page that has a sidebar now. So Testimonials doesn't have a sidebar, but as I go through, you'll see it doesn't change. It's always the same. Let's say I wanted to just add the Testimonials to just my About Us page. So as somebody's trying to learn about us, um, I want some Testimonials sitting in there, but I don't want it on every single other page. I'm going to go to widgets. I'm going to go to I'm going to drag my testimonials widget in here. Okay. Testimonials. Now, if I didn't do anything else, if I didn't do anything else right now, it would just automatically show up on every page. But what I want to do is hit show on selected. All right. And then you have to target the URL here. So, I'm going to go back to that about us page. And I'm going to take the, you got to take the extension after your URL, just um, whatever your domain is, .com slash, and then just take that little section. I'm going to copy that and paste it in here. Hit, and show unselected, show on about us, save. Okay. Now refresh the page. That should work. All right. And there's the testimonial right in the side there. I mean, it doesn't have to be the testimonial. It can be whatever the, whatever widget uh, you want. But it will only show up on this page. So I'll just go through and make sure. You see it's not on there. It's not on here. So if you, it's really good if you just have one, one thing, especially if you just have one or two things you want to be on certain pages. Uh, it's a lot easier than having to do it on the widgets, create a new new column, and then drag all your other widgets into that. Uh, it's just a much easier way to do that. I'll also show you how to. Um, so let's say I don't want now. I don't want the um, this on one of my pages. Say I wanted it on every page except one. That's this little blurb here. You know, if this was a real site, this would be a good place for a call to action. This text. Say I don't want that on um, my home page. Yeah. First, I'll show you how on the. I don't want it on the home page. So this goes for even showing stuff on the home page. There is a specific box for that. So if this were real, all right. So I'm going to do hide on selected, all right, and then I'm going to do hide on the front page. You can select that here, all right. And whenever you want to adjust something to either show or hide uh, on the blog, what you're going to do is just click blog index, single post, and you can even do category archive. And all those, and that'll either hide or show it on the blog if you don't want it to. The blog index is just the main page where all the posts show. So if you don't want it showing on that, but you want it showing on individual posts themselves, you can select that box. All right. So I'm going to do hide on the front page. All right. So you, you'll see now it is now on the home page, but once I refresh, it's gone. But it's on the it's on every other page still. Okay. So let's say I wanted to hide it only on the About Us page because I want the testimonials to bump up. 
Alright. So now I'm going to go down. I'm going to get that same slug. Alright. So now I'm hiding it on the front page and the About Us page. Okay. Refresh. Alright, now it's gone. Okay. It's also a lot easier to manage the sidebars afterwards doing it this way as opposed to doing a whole bunch of different uh, sidebars. Because you remember, if you use that other plugin for the sidebars, it would actually just add, you know, an About Us page, a uh, testimonials page, and that just can get really frustrating to work with. Alright, so I think that pretty much does it. Um, show You can just hide them all, all, all together if there was any time you wanted to hide something in the sidebar for any reason for a certain amount of time, you could just hit hide. Uh, that's really easy to do also. Alright, so this is just a really easy way if you're comfortable with using slugs and doing the widgets, it's a very good plugin for doing custom sidebars. It's another tutor tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials that give you the keys to our presence, put you the fast link success. Uh, there's a whole lot more on our website at startcompetingcom tutorials. Alright, so until next week, good luck with everything. Let us know if you have any problems.